Steve, before we go, as well as your work in school, you're also just about to head off overseas with a bit more of a unique project that you've been working on. Can you tell us what's happening with teachers across borders? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so my wife and I have been for about the last six years on and off going to Cambodia to train teachers in pedagogical approaches. Uh, and then recently we've become a lot more involved in the organization. And so we're trying to build, uh, basically build our profile online and sort of beyond the human networks that we have in place already. Uh, but basically, if you know anything about Cambodian history, you know that uh, the intellectuals were uh, basically killed off in Cambodia. Mm. And as a result, there's uh, some real issues around sort of cultural capital. And basically, quite often you have high school teachers teaching in high schools and they haven't actually completed high school themselves or the high, the high school curriculum that they're expected to teach. So there's a lot of sort of confidence issues. And so basically we go over there not as kind of imperialists or people that know the best practice, but we do it more as a cultural exchange. Uh, we've been doing that. The organisation has been doing that for about 10 years. Um, and so we sort of have an established approach and established networks that we're building on. Um, we're always looking for new teachers if anyone's interested in that sort of thing. And where would they go to find out more information? Uh, we have a website, Teachers Across Borders Australia. Um, and we've got a Twitter and YouTube and pretty much everything you could imagine. If you just type Teachers Across Borders, uh, you'll find what you're looking for. All right. Well, again, we'll make sure those links are available in the show notes for this episode. Steve, thanks very much for your time. Thanks for having me on.